It is a Patriots Friday on a Wednesday, and Jelani Tavai is brought to you by Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh by Elite Vodka, drink Elite Vodka responsibly, and by findmassmoney.gov. And Jelani joins us this morning on the Harbor One Hotline. Hey, Jelani. Hey, how y'all doing? Great. How are you? I'm, I mean, it's a rainy day, but I'm feeling good. How was the bye week? I mean, I know the this team's record is not where you guys would like it to be. Uh, did you have an opportunity to to take some time away and and come back with a little a little bit of a a different attitude, or is it the same exact attitude? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm I got the same approach every week. Um, it's just a different opponent, but. Uh, no, I got away. I got to be a kid again and, and go adventure in Disney World. So um, it's got me, uh, you know, rejuvenated and got more energy. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to get back on the field. Fa- favorite thing that you did at Disney on your adult trip to Disney? I don't know. Epcot, Epcot is pretty fun for adults. Uh, I'm not sure if you've been, but. Yes. Yeah, that was that park in general was one of my favorites. Okay, I'm right, big ride guy. I'm not a big ride guy, but I'm glad he enjoyed it. <laughs> Did you do Universal for Harry Potter World? No, I, I wasn't able to. Oh. Um, but that just means I gotta gotta make another trip out there soon. Okay, Jelani, when you look at this game and obviously you know where you guys are record wise, um, what what's the uh, the the biggest kind of message or mindset of throw the records out the window and we need to go out there and take care of business. What's your kind of message to some of the younger players or what's been the message in the locker room? Well, it's, it's the second half of the, the season for us. You know, that bye week was spot in the middle for us. And and right now you just got to approach this game as if it's the first game of the year where the record's 0-0 zero, zero and, and we just got to make sure that we do our jobs and and come prepared Sunday. Jelani, when you look at Tommy DeVito and his performance last week, what do you see out of him? I, I see a guy who has a strong arm. Um, I don't know. He, he had a really good game last year or last week. Um, but we just got to uh, we just got to do our job on our side of the ball. Um, we got to secure our tackles. We got to know what our game plan is, and then. Come today, tomorrow, we just got to see and execute uh, whatever the coaches are laying out for us. Jelani, I don't know if you heard some of Brady's comments about mediocrity in today's game and just the coaching's not the same. You know, as somebody who plays in the game today, you know, whether it's myself, the old player, always complaining about, ah, the game's not the same. How do you kind of guys in today's game, like, what – like what? What do you look at when you hear us, like all the players saying, you know, maybe guys are not uh, as physical, as mentally tough. What's kind of your mindset to some of us old heads that kind of uh, maybe can knock some players at times? I don't think we're not as physical. I think that we have to be cautious, especially as defensive players. You know, uh, I don't know if you've been reading or watching a lot of the fines that are happening uh, throughout the league. But I know I know one of the best things that he said was how you know some of the greats such as like Ray Lewis and and uh, Ronnie Lai and and like Harrison you know a lot of those hits that they made they be they be getting suspended like like crazy or, or getting fined so um, for us defensive players we have to be very hesitant because you know we're trying to avoid any like any slight or little like helmet to helmet collision. Or, I don't know, and then plus all the quarterback rules. So it's just—it's not like how we used to play football, where you know, as a defense player, just go go crazy, go go, and you know, I, I, won't, I don't want to say just knock somebody out, but you know, have that mindset that you you're trying to, you know, be as physical as you can. You know, Tom Brady also so said just, that yeah. Jelani. Tom Brady also said that he believes that Bill Belichick is still coaching. The same way he coached an undefeated season for the New England Patriots, and that a head coach really has a, a small part to do when it comes to uh, game day and having success there. You agree with that? 
I mean, wouldn't you want a coach to coach you as if as, as if he wants you to go undefeated? I mean, I I I hold myself to a high standard, so I'd I'd love to be coached that way. Um, but I'm not sure about the second part. Uh, all I know is that I hold myself to a high standard, and I know the team holds up, uh, ourselves to a high standard. So, um, like I I, I would uh, I would appreciate it if he did coach us the same way that uh, he did that undefeated year. Jelani, does this team know who their starting quarterback is? Uh, I'm not sure. That's that's out of my my paycheck. So. You're going to have to ask Bill about that one. Jelani. Jelani Whoever it is, we'll have the backs. Jelani, what's interesting is, like, you know, where you talk about how, you know, today's defensively players are not able to be able to hit the way that they want to hit and do some of the things that they want to do. Uh, uh, do you kind of – I guess it's like two sides of the ball. You know, I always looked at it as an offensive player. I wasn't going to – you know, say, hey, I, I couldn't do what those guys did physically. But do you look at some of the newer players today and just, you know, some of the offensive guys going across the middle and not having the fear? I know I know, uh, Christian Foyer said it like, when we played, we feared going across the middle. We knew it was part of our job, but we feared it because of, you know, whether it's guys like Ed Reed or Sean Taylor, who I played against, taking your head off. Does some of the offensive players kind of have a different mindset because they know you guys can't play that way no more? I mean, I wouldn't doubt it, but uh, I don't know. It, it kind of irritates me because, you know, I, I want to strike fear in people, um, especially when they when they have the courage to try and catch a slant route, especially, especially if we're talking in the red area. Like, you know, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make sure that nobody scores, you know, but um, – I don't know. I, I I see myself as an old school player that you know, and a lot of times I got to just make sure that I I you know tackle a different way so I'm not getting fined like I like I did this past week. Um, and I can you pay that in installments or how does that go? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to appeal it right now, uh, but you know it's just it is what it is. It's the it's the uh, the world we live in now in football. Is this your first fine? This season, yeah. yeah. No, it just comes out of your check. You go to look at your check and like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna move on to next week, and you know, I'm gonna play the same that I've always played. And you know, I I, I just pray that uh, I make sure to not hit anybody too aggressively. I guess. Hey, you probably shouldn't have blown all that money at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> I wanted to before we let you get to practice. I wanted to ask you uh, about the cause when it comes to your my cause cleats. Yeah, so this year I'll be uh, my cause will be rebuilding Maui. Um, this uh, foundation and uh, an organization was actually started by. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember his name, but uh, he played here for a few years with uh, Kamu. Uh, he's with the uh, he's with the Panthers now, but he had a small group and of local boys who uh, play around the league. And basically, what we're doing is just trying to raise money and fund it straight to the families that were affected, the small businesses that were affected in Lahaina. So. Uh, we're trying to make sure that, you know, we find ways to just help our community back home. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, any particular Hawaiian food on the Thanksgiving table tomorrow? Ooh. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to, uh, <laughs> I don't know yet. We're, we got to find the, the, the recipes out here in, uh, in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Probably hard to find that. They got some good food out there. Yeah, I mean, if you know places that yeah, if you know places that sell pig, then like a fresh pig, then that'll be cool. <laughs> no, yeah, like a why nice not? roasted pig. Yeah, do yeah, do a full luau, a yeah. Thanksgiving luau. Yeah, 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 most definitely. Yeah, <laughs> I know the food. I've never tried it, but I I've heard the food is amazing on the island. I'm telling you, it's. I will say, if you go visit. Try and lose like ten pounds before you get out there, so you gain it back the first day. <laughs> Food is good there. Is it you're gonna good? gain that. You're gonna gain that ten pounds immediately because I'm telling you, it's 
everywhere you go, it's so diverse. So you'll you'll have all types of cuisine. So um, and they, man, it's never a hit or miss. It's always a hit. Isn't uh, spam a very fo- popular food item on Hawaii? It is. It is. Cook it right, and it's delicious. Really? Oh wow! Said no one ever. Nah. Yeah. Oh. Cook spam right, and it's, never... what's cooking it right? Nah, just fry it right, season it right, marinate it, whatever you got to do. Do you put it into a sandwich, or how does one eat it? Um, they're called spam musubi, so it's like how uh, it's like seaweed on the uh, seaweed wrap with rice, and then you marinate it with. Uh, either teriyaki, brown, sh- like you can you can marinate the spam with whatever you like. But um, if I see y'all in person, then I might I might have to uh, give y'all some. Yeah, why don't you? But y'all gotta eat it. I, yeah, I, I'll try I, the teriyaki. I don't see nobody wasting no food. I'll uh, try I, it. I'll make a deal with you. We'll eat the. We'll clean our plates if you come in here one day and make us that spam dish. Uh, we might have to make a deal on that then. Okay. Yeah, I like the teriyaki sauce. You know what we'll good. do is uh, we'll raise money for Maui when you do it. All right. That sounds like a bet. All right. We're on? Mm-hmm. All right. We'll do a like a, a spam Wednesday or something with Jelani. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, enjoy Thanksgiving. Obviously, you're working, and we can't, can't wait to see you guys get back out there on Sunday. Thanks for taking the time this morning, Jelani Tavai.